Hi, I'm Larry Richardson, your step-by-step -step chef. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious omelet. This is grilled mushrooms, onions, and cheese in an omelet. I will show you how to make the grilled mushrooms and onions, and then we're going to put it all together. Now, you're absolutely going to love this, so please give it a try. So let's cook. And for our grilled mushrooms and onions, first of all, I have 24 ounces of Baby Bella mushrooms. Now, if you can't get the Baby Bella, white mushrooms are fine, but the Baby Bellas have just a little bit more of an earthy taste to them. I also have two sweet onions, and again, you can use yellow onions if you want, but the sweet onions with the Baby Bellas, oh, do they complement each other. They are so delicious. Then I'm going to use one teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. This dish is that simple. And honestly, I tried to think of ways to complicate it, but some dishes are just at their best when they're made simply. And to make the omelet, we use four eggs, a quarter to a half cup of shredded cheese, one teaspoon of butter, three quarter cup of grilled mushrooms and onions, and one teaspoon of water. So let me show you how to put it together. And this is a rough cut dish. So we're just going to cut the ends off the onions. Get rid of the peel. There goes the skin, kind of right off. Mmm, that's a sweet smelling onion. And then all I'm going to do, oops, let me get rid of that, there we go. All I'm going to do is cut this into slivers. And you really don't want to do much more than this. I don't want it to fall into the grill. These pieces hold up so well to the mushrooms. So we're just going to sliver both of our onions and put it into this bowl. With the mushrooms, what I want to do is not cut them too small. I'm going to take each of these mushrooms and slice it into thirds, just like this. And you can see how thick the pieces are because these will shrink down when we're out at the grill. So I'm going to cut all of these down and they've, they've been rinsed off already. And we're just going to do that. So I'm going to do that with all of the baby bellas and I'll be right back. So here are the onions and baby bellas all sliced up and ready to grill. Now I'm just adding my tablespoon of salt. There we go. And then my two tablespoons of oil. And I wouldn't go too far overboard on the oil because the vegetables will get greasy. And I will stir these in. I will stir this oil into the mushrooms and onions. And it just helps to keep them moist and helps them to cook a little bit, um, a little bit better on the grill. But I also do use a non-stick pan when I'm cooking these, so that helps too. And I'll show you that out at the grill. Okay, so here we are out at the grill. I start it according to manufacturer instructions. Now, I want you to start your grill by your manufacturer instructions. There's a reason for that. If the gas builds up, something goes wrong, and your mushroom and onions end up out in outer space or up in the trees, I don't want to get messages. So just follow the directions and you'll be fine. So I have the grill. It is preheating. We're almost up to 400 degrees. And that's an okay time by me to put our mushrooms and onions on this nonstick pan. Now you gotta give me credit. I'm working with one hand. I'm doing the best I can to show you. There's always one wise guy. And normally, I would like this all to be in one layer. It's just so much easier to cook these vegetables when they're in one layer. But in this case, I love these mushrooms and onions so much. I'm willing to have it slightly over that. Another wise guy. Here we go. And just stir them in. 
There we go, and the oil is all stirred in, the salt is all stirred in. And we're gonna close the cover and we'll come back in five minutes. So five minutes later, let's, let's look at what's going on inside the grill. Yep, we got some cooking going on. And I'm just using this um, nonstick pan with these veggies and it's just doing wonderfully with them. They're going to cook down, the onions are going to caramelize, the mushrooms are going to shrink down. And um, let me check what that temperature is now because I'm going to close the cover for another five minutes. We're up to 500 scorching degrees and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are five minutes and 600 degrees later. Let's see what's going on. Oh my goodness. Look, the mushrooms are cooking down nicely. The onions are caramelizing. This is going to be delicious. Get our spatula, our non-stick spatula on a non-stick pan. Give this a quick stir. Things are happening. Um, try to get a nice long spatula. That way you will not lose all of the hair off your knuckles and maybe the first joints of your fingers. Five minutes later, we're gonna be done. I'll be right back. And here we are, our last five minutes, 600 wonderful degrees. And look at that, that is cooked. These are perfect. I don't want to cook them anymore because they will vanish. So I always give my film crew off Saturday nights. So they're out disco dancing. I'm working with one hand and I have to scoop all of this into my bowl. So I'm going to do that and I'll meet you inside. And the first thing we're going to do is beat the eggs. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of water. And what that water does is it actually causes the omelet to fluff up. Without it, you're gonna have a pretty flat omelet. Some people use milk. It doesn't really make that big a difference to me. It's only one teaspoon. And this water will get the job done plenty well. And here's our four eggs. And then we just beat them up to a reasonably smooth consistency. There we go, that's just fine. And now what we're going to do is take our mushrooms and onions and just cut them a little bit finer. You know, pretty much like the mushrooms in half, the onions in half, because it will give it, the um, omelet itself a very uniform and tasty consistency. Some people make their omelets with big chunks of vegetable in them, but I like it nice and little and bite-sized and all melded together. The mushroom tried to get away. There we go. So we're just giving it a little bit of a chop. Last night with the steak, having the mushrooms and onions whole was just fine. And in fact, it was perfect because they could stand up to the steak. But in an omelet, I just like a more fine consistency. So every, every single bite is well blended. And there we go. I'm gonna meet you over at the stove. So this pan has been preheating at just under medium heat for about five minutes. So we're just gonna melt our butter into it. <laughs> there we go. And just coat the bottom of the pan. And then let's add our egg mixture. And three minutes later, look what happened. Those windows closed up, 
with white and yellow. That means the floor is there and we can add our peppers first to half of the omelet. Mmm, grilled mushrooms and onions. Wow, is that tasty. So there's our grilled mushrooms and onions. And then we add our cheese to the other half. And the next thing we're going to do is cover this with a lid. And we're going to wash to make sure that the cheese melts fully through and all of the liquid egg on the top solidifies. And you can tell because it won't be as um, glistening. So let's put that cover on. And I'll see you in about five minutes. And five minutes later, let's take a look. There we go. And what I'm seeing is exactly what I want to see. That cheese is melted. I'm seeing little bubbles coming through so I know the base of the omelet is all cooked through. So now all I do is put this under, put the spatula under. The cheese is running a little bit. And flip it. Oops, well that happens from time to time. But there we go. That omelet is finished. So let's eat.